In our new exercise, we are going to focus on adding more attributes to IVAR dimension. So we have here an item dimension. It's really poorly supported with a primary key. We want to add more attributes. Uh, let's do this. So we go into the BF Dynamics application. You choose the instance, the one that we have, and go into the Manage dimension. Here is our item dimension. And... Uh, in the first round of customization, we want to add the attributes without adding, expanding the model with different tables. So let's just do this and put some uh, search for a name, name alias, and let's add some group-like fields like product group, item buyer group, um, um, anything that has some GR would usually be a group. Um, uh, let's see, batch number, maybe. It's not really this cost group, yes, definitely. And um, let's look for some fields of a type, or type or an enum. Let's do the enum. The, the things with an enum or option fields uh, is very interesting. We can actually focus on this. And uh, if we select an enum, enum is a option field registered as integer. However, we are not going to bring integer into the view because user would say that's not working for us. Give me option text. And that's what application is going to do by default. So I don't think there are a lot of very useful. It has to be 32 because that's the option field. 36 is not the right one. And let's presume we have some luck with this um, option fields, who just one or few are going to give us some action. Uh, it's, uh, you know, it's easy to click, click, click. It's not a big uh, thing, but I'm f I think it's fine. So let's just see how many attributes we have been adding. Okay, already 14 minus the first one, so we added 13. Just, we'll keep the friendly name as, uh, we'll not put friendly names. This is something you can do later. And um, let's just do an update. Update does all the way the changes, stage, data warehouse, analytics. It will deploy, create schemas for all these objects, and process, push the data through. So this is very, very powerful, the most powerful part of the modeling here. OK, this is again the old model here. And here we come with a new model, change the year with the we know this is item, fine. Item type, item service, empty. Then we have name alias, we have it here. And um, yeah, other things, let's, you see it's no, it's not zero one. So it is, we are getting something. Uh, even if some data are coming, some are not that coming here. So adding an attribute, it's super simple. And you just have to know it's there. Now, what we are going to do now is extend the model with additional tables. So what we are going to do is to find more tables to extend the model and bring the data from that tables. So let's search for a table invent item group, this one. And we are going to add this to the model. And if we do it like this, then actually we didn't choose the right one. Okay, we have to get this guy here. Okay, and a uh, solution, our wizard is super smart, gives us already the relationship. And when we say, show me more tables here, actually we want to have this table now. And also here we get the relationship uh, automatically built. So we are super happy. Uh, now the question, how do we know this? Again, you have to know if you do the modeling in any tool, what are the table relations? You have to go to your functional consultant or developer to find out because we are working on data warehouse. It's a SQL based engine, but uh, everything is dynamics. You have to know this. Now we are bringing the information from these tables. So here we bring item group ID and from here we get the name. That's it, what we are going to do, nothing more. Um, the name was there 
uh, and the name was also there. So let's just bring in item group, item group, a name and ID just to differentiate this. And this is how we make the model a little more complex. It's really not a big deal. Again, don't forget to add the staging part and all the way the data are being changed. Let's go back to our Power BI now and let's uh, refresh the data and we should see the the new measures, uh, the new uh, dimension attributes here. Here is the item group ID and item group name. Oh, the name should be also here. Okay, good. Um, this is how you do this part, adding additional tables. Now, you may have a situation, just going back, you may notice that all the time you are using the tables from stage, which means from the source, Dynamics 365. Now, we can easily add, if we have any other schema, data from tables from other schemas, that just uh, a matter of getting data from external sources. We are going to do this in more advanced exercises, but we are just focused now on the tables that we have here. And at any given time, the metadata relationship helps us a lot because it helps us create a relationship between the table. This completes this exercise.